How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing more uh, more target shooting with the Oneida and I'm also going to shoot uh, my recurve as well today for a little bit. I got this thing off of uh, off of Amazon. Not ex I forget exactly what brand it is on there. I bought it a while back already and it's only 35 pound draw weight on it so it's not uh, it's not too bad to pull back. But anyway, we're gonna shoot both of them today for a bit, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Stick around. Well, that wasn't too shabby. That wasn't great either, though. Oh well. <laughs> you know how when you shoot sometimes and then you kind of psych yourself out? You're shooting and you make a good shot and you're like, yeah, that was good. And then you get all cocky and then the next one you just mess up like crazy. Happens a lot. <laughs> Like that one. That one wasn't too bad. That was horrible. See that one? I wasn't even going for that bottom circle, but yet I hit the bottom circle. It just happens. Holy crap. So, that last shot there, when I went to go release, I went forward just a little bit on my release before I let it go, just a touch. It's hard to catch it on the camera, but that's what happened. <laughs> See, what happens is, um, a lot of people have this, a lot of people don't. Uh, it's called target panic. Uh, I have target panic. Like, pretty decent target panic. <sighs> and that's basically when you, when you pull up, you just panic release, just poof, And it's not, it's not a good thing to do. And it's very hard to stop doing it. I still get target panic quite a bit. That was one of those moments of target panic. That was a little better. Now one arrow really seems to twist when I shoot for some reason. A little bit of fletchings on it. I noticed too that on these arrows, uh, the more I shoot them, it gets worn down. Whoa, it gets worn down right there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe, maybe not, right there on the fletching. It gets worn down from hitting the rest as it goes by. But that just means I'll have to refletch it later. Holy crap. <laughs> Again, another good example of target panic, where I just pulled back, looked at it, and was like, okay, that's good enough, and shot. Never do that, ever. <laughs> it doesn't end well. A little better, still a bit low, but... Uh, not not the greatest you notice too that like so the last time I shot it was like I had a pretty decent group it wasn't like great or anything but it was decent and now this time I'm just all over the place and 
it happens and it sucks because it really just makes your confidence go <laughs> when you do that. That one arrow that just completely is horrible. better a little better weird eh, oh well whatever I think this is the one I think this is the arrow here that keeps flying all crooked I think I'm not too sure Let's see once looks like it nope Flies all right. Maybe it's this one. Nope. Maybe it's this one. Oh no, it's not this one. This is uh, Frederick. Holy cow! I'm not on it today at all. This one. Oh, I had to run and grab a new battery. That one died. This one is gonna go in. <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Not too pretty bad. Yeah? It's good. It's so weird that, okay, so one of these arrows here, it's not this one, this is Frederick. Um, one of these arrows is flying crooked. Except for this last time I shot, none of them flew crooked. So, I don't know what's going on. I'll shoot them again once and see what happens. Could be my release too, that might be when I let them fly, maybe it's maybe it's not going off right. Gotta have a smooth release. Smooth fingers. There, that's the one. That's the one that goes crooked. Too low. At least I'm uh, in line with the last one, that's good. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> Every shot can be tight together and then there's just that one shot that just like, whew, all because you did something wrong. Plus if you shoot them fast like that, it does it does work your arm pretty good when you're shooting so uh, it gets a little tiring once you get to the fifth arrow but that's not an excuse you can be better than that all right we'll shoot uh, the Unita one more time and then we'll play around with the recurve a little bit
Not too shabby for the last shot. It's not great either, but you know, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. That ain't too pretty bad. Not too pretty bad, eh? Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go pull those arrows out, and uh, then we're going to the recurve a try. I do have different arrows for this one. Um, I just bought these off of Amazon. Um, they're not the best arrows, but they'll certainly do for what uh, for what I'm doing with it anyway. It's not uh, I'm not actually hunting with it because I can't. So it's more of just a, a toy, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I would be shooting at a deer out here. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, the vital <laughs> the center on this thing is has a hole right through it. You can replace these things. I just haven't got a replace block yet, but. Actually, I don't even think you can get replacement blocks for this anymore. We've had this thing for like 10 years. <laughs> I need a new deer to shoot at. <laughs> hey yo! This is the recurve I got. It's only 35 pounds, like I said earlier, but it's a lot of fun to shoot. So let's shoot it. Even field points on it. It's dumb. Again, and then, uh, then we're gonna try something cool with it. Hold on to this. <laughs> this will be easier. I'll just reach out and grab them from you. Always make sure your tips are tight. <laughs> I just want to point something out. That I'm not that good with this bow. Let's just pause for just a split second. <laughs> talk about how lovely Amy's hair looks. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do not know. I'm not very good with this bow. However, well, let's just have a look at this up here. I didn't touch it. This is, this is the exact shooting from just a second ago. But look at that. Do you see that? <laughs> now this right here is what I'm talking about. That's, <laughs> that's consistency shooting right there. Now, I would like to get this good with my hunting bow. That would be awesome. Most people can do this with a normal hunting bow. I have yet to do it with that bow. But we'll get there eventually. <clears throat> now, let's do that cool thing I was talking about. It's not that cool. I mean, it's pretty cool if it works. We're gonna shoot all three arrows at once. <laughs> All two arrows at once. <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Alright. Kids, don't try this at home. And also look away. It might get ugly. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well... <laughs> One arrow hit the target, one arrow hit the ground, one arrow hit the barn and bounced back and is laying on the ground over here now. But that's alright. It's still good. Let's uh, let's shoot the Oneida again from closer. Just for the fun of it. We'll rip her a couple times. Not too pretty bad. <laughs> that's a that's a decent sized group right there, except for this one guy here. 
That, that guy there is the result of target panic, as I was talking about earlier. Good stuff. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.